Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Really cool video I got for you today. I've been doing a lot of research. What I've been trying to do was come up with an alternative that was similar or kind of, you know, close to using the domino system for joinery. Now the domino, I have nothing against the Festool domino machine. That thing is awesome. I wish I had it, but you know what? For almost a thousand bucks, not going to spend that kind of money right now. So what I came up with was with all that research, what's called the beadlock system. Now it's a loose mortise and tenon, just the same way that a domino works. The only difference is instead of having a domino, you have, the, it looks like a bunch of dowels glued together. And uh, you can actually make these yourself if you buy the routing bit to do so, which uh, will save you some money, I guess, in the long run, but they are pretty cheap. But I did order the bit and I am going to make my own in the long run. So, so let's check this thing out and see how it works. First, we're going to go through the joinery and we're going to see, you know, what it's all made up of. Then we're going to open up the case, do an inventory of what you get in the pro kit. And we'll see how this loose tenon system actually stacks up. So when I'm, what I'm going to show you here doesn't replace the manual that you actually get in the kit. And they give you a manual with all your, you know, drilling guides and what to set and everything. We'll go over that in a minute. Okay, so here is your beadlock loose tenon. Now, we lined everything up and drilled much the same way you kind of do with uh, with biscuits. And once you get everything set up, you slide your beadlock tenon in and slide in the other side. Once it's joined with, I mean, these are rough pieces of stock here. Once it's joined with the glue, everything is jointed on the, you know, the jointer and cut on the table saw and you're surfaced on four sides. This is an absolute like flawless joint. I mean, you know, just with a piece, a couple of pieces of rough two by four, you can see without doing any work here with the sand or anything like that, they're actually perfectly level and perfectly flush. Now I didn't even, you know, bother to get rid of the round over edge because I just, you know, for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you on a piece of stock how strong this is and give you another alternative to spend in that, uh, 970 bucks that you might be spending if you really don't have to do it. Okay, so let's take an inventory. Okay guys, so here's the kit. Uh, I'm gonna open it up, nice molded plastic case. Uh, it came with a set of instructions, a manual here that tells you everything you need to know about how to do this. And believe me, you're gonna need that manual because the first time you do it, it kinda seems a little confusing. This is the beadlock loose tenant. I got a bag of those. Okay, now you're going to see a lot of empty slots here, and the empty slots are for all the attachments that you can buy later on. Uh, it comes with, this was in the case, I had to attach my drill because I was practicing with it. Drill bit, a collar, this is the 3 8 kit. This is the actual jig itself right here. These, this block is, I have it screwed in right now into the place where I need it for when I drill. It comes with also a, what they call the pairing block. What you can do is put that in the place of the drilling block and you can actually run a router through there with an up spiral bit and you can make your own mortises with the router with that bit instead of drilling it out and then you can use just regular pieces of wood and round those over. Uh, comes with the Allen key for the collet. Basically what they I want you to do is set it for, this is a 3 8 tenon that we're creating here, 3 8 inches on that, uh, that loose tenon. So they recommend you set the drill bit collar to two and five eighths. That was in the instructions. So I just took my combination square. I butted the collar up against the combination square right there and set it to two and five eighths, locked it in with the Allen key, and then I was ready to start drilling. So we got that out of the way. This, the way this works, it's pretty cool. You take this, you put it over your stock, you line up, you have inside here, there's you probably can't see them on camera because of the angle, but there are uh, a few white lines in there and you line those up with the marks you made, you tighten this down. Once you got that tightened down, you can drill your holes, then you move this block over and you drill the succeeding holes and that creates your tenon. Okay, you can also center this, you turn these right here and move them back and forth. We're gonna go through all that. So now that we have all the parts, we can start to maneuver this thing. Now. All right, now you can see I had this set up before and I made my marks and I marked them A and B and put some X's there. That's where the actual tenon is gonna sit. And you can see once you put that in there, that's exactly you know how it's gonna line up when you glue it. It'll make a nice flawless joint. So since I already did it on that side, I wanna show you guys how to do it. 
Now, this will only be the second time I do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it on this side. Uh, and then I'm gonna flip this over and I'll join it over here. Maybe I'll, I'll go this way this time. This way we don't have any mortises there. We could start from scratch. Flushed up here and butting up against each other there. And then just by eye, I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna make a mark on the outside of it here using the actual loose tenon. I made a straight line there, and now I'm gonna make an X here and an X here, and this will be A and this will be B. So now I have the marks where they're gonna butt up together and the X's are where the loose tendon's gonna sit. So now what they want you to do is find the center on the end grain of the workpiece. Now, I've already done that. Just take a combination square. I mean, this is one and a half, so the middle of this is gonna be three quarters. So you really do need those marks on there though, because when you put the jig on there, you have to line up the end grain plus the side center where you're gonna be lining these up to drill the holes. All right, so let's get the jig on there and start to drill. Okay, so I'm gonna take part A, and what I'm gonna do is place it in the jig and put it to the left. Well, I have this block. The drilling block is all the way to the left, so I want to line up the mark that I made on part A with the left far line, which on the drilling block and the instructions would tell you is holes number one, two, and three. And then you just lock the jig down, place it on the bench, and we're going to drill out holes one, two, and three. Okay, so now if you look in the instructions, what they'll tell you for the drilling sequence here, we have on part A, the first drilling series, holes on the 3 8 block, which that's the tendon we're using, holes number one, two, and three. Then the second drilling series will be one and two. So what we do is loosen these knobs right here, blow the dust off it, and slide this drilling block all the way to the right. Once we get all the way to the right, lock these back down, keep it in place. And now we're only gonna drill out holes one and two. Okay, that's it for that series. Now you have to leave the drill block in its place. If you read the directions carefully, it tells you leave it there because that's where you're gonna start on part B. So first thing you do, loosen up the jig. Take this out, make sure you get all these dust chips out. Now you can see we have a perfect mortise right there. I'm gonna take my loose tenon and show you how that fits. Very snug right in there, very strong. Still pull it out by hand. What you'll do when you're gonna attach it, you put some glue on there, some glue in the hole, kind of like a biscuit, and then you put that in and then you can join the pieces. So let's set that to the side. Now we have part B. We have the jig already in place on the right side. Now I put part B in there and I'm gonna line up part B all the way to the line on the extreme right side. Once I do that, then I can tighten the jig down on the workpiece. Be precise here, okay. Match that up. Now we have the drilling block in place. All we have to do is look at our guide here, and the guide says on part B, which is this workpiece here, we're gonna drill holes four, five, and six. If you look at the guide block, it'll tell you four, five, and six is there. So let's drill out four, five, and six. Loosen these up on the drill block. Shift it over to the left again. Tighten it down. Doesn't move. And now we're gonna be drilling out holes five, five and six. Okay, and now we loosen up the jig. Same as before, we're gonna extract all the dust chips. Now, if you have any left over, you can just take your pencil and just scoot them right out. Once you're 
happy that everything is free and clear, do a test fit on this side. And that's perfect. Now, once you have both pieces in, we're gonna do a dry fit and we're gonna join A and B. And there we have a strong level joint that once it's glued up, it's gonna be very, very secure. And once again, this is the Beadlock Pro loose joinery, great alternative to the, uh, the domino machine. So this kind of combines the, uh, the dowel and the domino and a little bit of the biscuit for alignment. So you really do get a lot for the money here. You know, it is really good strong joint and I do recommend this. Basically, I'm gonna be using this a lot in the shop and I really have a lot of fun using it. It's, it's a lot more foolproof than I thought it was gonna be. The first time I did it, it was actually a, a little difficult, you know, but I really sat there and read the instructions. Once I did it the first time, Second time's a piece of cake. So that's it guys, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I post a video or uh, photos of upcoming projects and things that I'm doing in the shop that don't make it to YouTube or are in the process of being put on YouTube. Right now I'm actually working on that farm table still. So that's why I'm doing these little videos in between because it's such a big project and it's taken me a long time to complete because you know, coming home from work and building that, I just don't have the hours a day to put in to get this thing done in a week or two. So, all right guys, uh, I'll see you next time. The link for the Instagram is gonna be on the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to follow me there and check out all my stuff. All right guys, take care.